there, it's Carson from Carson's Doodles. Um, I wanted to introduce you to another puppy. Um, this is Eos. She's pretty solid. She's pretty solid in that dark red that we like. She's got that beautiful black nose. She's my only one with that gorgeous nose. And I really, really love that black nose. Hey, you can see she doesn't even have a whole lot of white on her paws. She doesn't have any on her back or her hind legs. Um, she's doing fantastic. She has tiny spot, but that will probably grow over and you will never see it. So she's my most solid colored pup and she's she's a dream. <laughs> she wants to be dreaming right now. I just kind of wanted to catch you up to date. The puppies will be three weeks old tomorrow. I'm gonna hold her close so she feels a little more comfortable. She likes to get into those warm spaces like all puppies love and they're so cuddly. So I wanted to tell you that um, what we're gonna be introducing for the puppies this week, the, the third week, and they start learning and growing so fast at this point. And most of what I take my curriculum from is the, um, this lady. She's amazing, the ultimate badass breeder guide. It is amazing, her program is amazing. And we take bits and pieces from everyone's curriculum to figure out what fits best for our, our pack. And we apply those things. And she has laid it all out for us. I purchased this online and I began um, implementing it into my program about um, a year and a half ago, two years ago. Before that, it was just um, family and natural, um, socializations and desensitization. It was just very natural with a family of five kids and friends for us to naturally raise these amazing puppies. But I try and do better every year. I wanna have a better program. So I start implementing more and more things. So this week, starting tomorrow, we're gonna do some noise exposure. And I have a Google Home right next to their whelping boxes. So we'll play some thunderstorms, um, some firecracker noises, babies crying. We'll introduce something new every day. And then um, we'll introduce something to their whelping box. <sighs> yeah. So it could be balls, it could be stuffed animals, it'll be boxes, it'll be um, different toys. Um, and different things like that, even um, different scents than, than we originally had started them on. So they will get um, a lot. We're also going to be introducing them to their litter box. What's a litter box? Well, it's how we start training and as breeders, it's an absolute lifesaver when the puppies start um, wanting to move out of their sleeping area to go potty. The dogs don't traditionally love to do that. She's just a little fussy budget today. Um, they don't naturally want to go potty where they sleep. So we introduce a shallow box where you could use puppy pads or whatever. I have a shallow box um, or square that I'll put the um, puppy pee pads in and I'll direct them to that. I'll go in and probably start waking them up a little bit because usually puppies have to go as soon as they wake up. So I'll keep redirecting them to that spot until they begin to naturally do that. And we start that at three weeks old until eventually I will have them um, doggy door trained because there's a doggy door right in their area that I'll progress to further and further. At first, it starts really close to their sleeping area so they don't have to move very far. But as they get more and more mobile, that's what I'll do. Um, and then I will also introduce them to bell training. So if, they, if our um, families maybe don't have a doggy door, um, the puppy will know to go stand by the door, hit the bell, or at least stand by the door by the time they go home. The other thing that we start this week, and I made a copy of it, and I put it up um, next, to the next to the puppy's whelping box so that whenever the kids come to play and handle with the puppies, they have certain exercises that we're gonna do, and there's, it's a 10-step process, and I'll take you through that tomorrow. It's gonna be super fun. Um, 
on how we handle and desensitize the, the, the puppies. Again, I just want to shout out to the Badass Breeder Program because they are helping all of us breeders get better with every litter and our puppies are empowered and we're empowered. So again, I just want to introduce you to EOS. Um, let me know, comment if you like the solid color ones or if you like the one with the abstract markings, the ones with white on them. She's a sweetie. She wants to go get warm and play with her siblings. They're starting to wrestle and tease and just starting the puppy play. So like and subscribe to my channel because in the next couple weeks, we're gonna introduce them to outside where they can run and play. We have a huge backyard over here. So it, it was made for um, puppies and playing and we're gonna follow along. So follow along with me, like and subscribe. Mia sees a dog out. So like and subscribe, follow along. Keep meeting our adorable pups.